Hey everyone, I wanted to introduce you to Matt Wiggler, who created a new business during COVID time and uh, you know how we pivoted um, to create that business. He'll share that all that stuff. But um, let me first introduce to Matt and Matt, let Matt explain what he does and how he started this new business. So Matt, could you get into your history and what you do right now? Yeah, thanks, Roger. It's nice to be with you. So uh, basically, I have uh, two companies uh, that I've started. Uh, one of them is about five years old. It's called MHW Live Music. We provide uh, live music entertainment to luxury hotels nationwide. Uh, so as of this moment, we're in about 60 hotels um, in a bunch of different states. And basically what happened was last year when all the hotels shut down, um, all at the same time, which was really shocking. Um, you know, I saw that we had developed a pretty efficient business to business sales process. We had really good research that we had done and we had really good people that were on the phones booking appointments then for my business partner to you know, take sales meetings and convert these uh, hotels into new clients. And the, the theory or the hypothesis was, uh, what if we can take that process and apply it to something that's, you know, not hotels, but spin it off into, into a separate business. Um, basically, the shortest way to describe this new business, Wiggler Group, um, is uh, people hire us to basically function as outsourced sales development representatives. So gotcha. for a client that doesn't have uh, an internal uh, you know, process to achieve this consistent flow of sales appointments, that's what they hire us to do. And the industry we're focused on for Wiggler Group is largely in the marketing agency business. So media, advertising. Um, there's an interesting irony where, uh, you know, people who are experts in running uh, large scale campaigns for big companies, direct to consumer, billboards, radio, TV, that sort of thing. They, it do, doesn't necessarily transfer to how do I sell my own service to a very, very specific target market uh, or reach a chief marketing officer at a Fortune 500 company, something like that. So now, uh, you know, fast forward to today, both of the businesses are growing very quickly and uh, it's, a, it's an exciting time. Awesome. All right. With that being said, I guess, yeah, that your second business is the concentration. Now you're trying to reach out to people and share the information. So I don't know. I, I don't want to put words in, your, uh, yeah, words in your mouth. So would you like to share? Who would you like to connect or who can you help? And, um, you know, who should reach out to you? Well, basically, you know, one thing that is nice that you and I are doing together now, and one of the things that I've been up to is just kind of spreading the message about uh, basically, if I can motivate a couple of people to go for it, start their own business, you know, go out there and, and kind of go for the goals that they've set for themselves. That's very fulfilling to me. Um, in terms of the clients that we deal with, you know, at Wiggler Group, uh, we have owners of uh, these marketing agencies that are our clients. We have some larger companies that there may be a vice president of sales or a vice president of marketing that gets involved with us to uh, essentially do part of the sales process and put those appointments onto the calendars of the sales team, if it's a little bit of a larger company. Um, and then for the, you know, for MHW Live Music, uh, you know, it's hotel managers um, that, uh, are, are running the uh, hotel or the food and beverage operation. Uh, and, you know, in that case, uh, just to give us, it's an interesting thing because, you know, the problem we solve for them is essentially uh, we, met, we have a very consistently high quality uh, level of entertainment, which is great for the guest experience. And we also make it a whole lot easier for, for the hotel managers in terms of the administrative uh, scheduling payments, that sort of thing. So, you know, like I said, those are the customers that I currently deal with, but the point of really getting out and sharing things on LinkedIn, on podcasts, and, you know, a lot of it is, is to spread the message and, and hopefully uh, 
you know, encourage a few more people to, uh, you know, uh, get out there and, and uh, go for their goals. Awesome. That's a great mission. Well, with that, I mean, I guess maybe, uh, you know, this question is already answered, but what inspires you to get up and do what you do every day? Well, and that is a, similar to what I just said, right? I mean, what I have figured out that I really like about running these businesses, I'm also a professional musician. And mm -hmm. I, was, I went on a podcast recently where somebody was asking me about the parallels. Is there anything that you can see across these two disciplines, which seem like they're unrelated? I, to me, they're not unrelated. There's a lot of through lines through all of these different disciplines. Um, what's really exciting to me is when you can get a group of people together and get them all aligned to a goal mm -hmm. and then go towards that goal together. And along the way, when you achieve milestones, that's very exciting to celebrate that with your team. And so that's what really gets me excited every day is how can I bring more and more people together you know, to work on our team at the companies, bring the clients together. Can we accomplish these goals together? That's very satisfying. And so I would say that's really what gets me excited every day to, uh, you know, to keep going. Awesome. All right. So, well, you created two businesses, so I'm sure you learn a lot of tips and tricks and, you know, from whoever and maybe yourself, you learn through a new thing. So what's the one tip you can share that has helped you you know, that can help anybody else. It could be personal or professional. Um, I would say the one thing, or well, it's not the only one thing, but a big thing that I have realized is to be patient and persistent. So patient doesn't mean wait around for something to happen. You've got to go out there and take the actions Right. which produce the types of outcomes that you're trying to do, mm -hmm. uh, that you're trying to get. So if you want to get more customers, mm -hmm. then you or someone has to be picking up the phone and calling those customers and asking them to buy something. Right. right. Of course. But if you're doing the right actions, it still takes a long time to get to where mm -hmm. you're trying to go. I mean, this That's is, true. you know, maybe people see these unicorn businesses that, are the you know one out of a million kind of things where they go from zero to a billion in two years but that's not i i'm not convinced that anybody can you know make that happen uh on a consistent basis what you can make happen on a consistent basis is if you get something on track mm -hmm. you're providing something of value to your customers and you keep doing that over and over again over a long period of time then i believe you know anybody could become very successful if they do that with the right level of persistence and with the right expectation of how long it's gonna take. Awesome, that's a great tip. Yeah, persistent and consistent action. Awesome. Yep. Well, great, thank you, Matt. You know, uh, I'll be posting whatever links I have for Matt, um, either on the LinkedIn when I post in LinkedIn or on YouTube, if you see this on YouTube. So reach out to Matt if you wanna collaborate or do something with him or, you want him as your podcast guest, potentially. So he's looking to spread his word out. So please reach out to him. All right. Thanks, Matt. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, great to be with you. All right.